I would say it's made a lot through my T-shirts, through my T-shirts, and also through uh, I have I've done it through a few shows of of my uh, art, you know artistic work. Well, for me, it was very clear. It was uh, first of all, I wanted to implement what I thought wasn't necessarily on the market, and then second of all, which was culture. Culture brought to a broad in a pop circumstance in a popular level. And so my challenge, and which is still my challenge, is to make something cultural where, you know, now we kind of forget who, who the big, you know, just amazing people were or the people that make us think who we are today. You know, like you can, anybody from writers to... Um, and so what I wanted to do is find a fun way to communicate on that and bring it back into pop society. And so hence slogans like Bauhaus is my house or, you know, before Rambo there was Rambo or like series of, of, of t-shirts which made you think. And um, what I wanted, it was also, it was also in, in consequence of my life in Los Angeles where you live sometimes in, in a total isolation because it's a very big city, you need to ride your cars everywhere. And so I wanted an immediate impact by which my t-shirt, if I would wear it, that person would go, you know, that's, that's great, or like, that's so cool, or like, or I hate that, you know, or like, so, but inevitably it would get an opinion and it might spawn a conversation. So in the end, you could maybe meet somebody who thinks the same way as you. And so, uh, so yeah, so that was kind of the basis of, and still is, of Panda Kunst. Yes, I have. I, I, um, I, I kind of used, uh, I love situationism in a, and so uh, of Guy Debord and all that movement. And so of the idea that, you know, you can, you kind of create a, a situation out of anywhere, you know, even if it's like a, uh, you know, very boring. Um, and so the idea was that, I mean, all before this whole craze of pandas, you know, came in the last two years, I, I was doing these films where I would put a panda and I would market my t-shirt on the panda and I would be a friend being in the, in the suit and then like either, and I would ask friends of mine to direct each time a different video to friends who I, who I wanted to work with. So I have like a panda robbing a bank or I have a panda like, but I was showcasing kind of a philosophy which would go coherently with the slogan of the t-shirt. <laughs> Exactly. What I wanted to do and what I still want to do is, is apply this on a popular level. So it, that's the main goal of the company, uh, of Panda Chaos now, uh, uh, is, to, is to really touch, bring culture back. <laughs> You know, it's difficult because it's it's a specific market. You know, you're, you it's it's not the the mass market T-shirt. So because you kind of either know need to know the reference or this and that, and so that's why I kind of do. I have a side project, well, which is pandas. So you can have Pan Dracula, panda. You know, so I play play on little pandas, and now we're developing um, a whole different side of the company, which is uh, sheets bedding. So bringing a new aspect to betting, kind of treating it like a t-shirt, but where it's a dimension where, you know, I mean, when we buy sheets, you know, everybody buys simple, plain sheets. And I'm not talking about doing a very over-the-top sheet, but, you know, the in-between, where it's used, you have at least one of the funky sheets. So. Uh, yes, yes, very, very much. It's a... Um, it's funny because I've had this reflection uh, recently and uh, I, I encounter creative blocks when it's not my work that I have to work for. Strange. 
And uh, for my work, I don't really have that much. I mean, I have creative blocks in terms of uh, certain subject matters to treat, to treat more if I, if, uh, you know, drawings or, or things like that. But I, I would say in general, if, if I develop something, I have the idea and I'm very straightforward with it. I, uh, I put it down for a while and I come back to it. Well, it's, uh, well, it's what I do is I, I um, you know, sometimes I think, you know, just a, a lot of things are made by mistake um, sometimes. And so, you know, I feel that it, sometimes if you reside, let's put a drawing or, or a painting, if you have something which is all too very um, narrative and very simple, and I, and I always love the idea of maybe deconstructing it just by pure you know, may, maybe that's the added value to it, is the, is the whole process of the deconstruction and, and, uh, and just not having something so perfect or just the idea that you wanted to have before. It has, it has, because um, I would say more, uh, I would say on the historical influence. And uh, Paris, I wouldn't say it's really the, the biggest uh, futuristic inspiration so you know you can't uh, I think here you know it's great inspiration in on the past but also what's very motivating is that you can bring uh, your own ideas and you feel that it's a new territory so you can feel that uh, whatever you have to bring you know people are kind of susceptible to to feeding into because you know you can clearly see that people are kind of I wouldn't say living in the past now you have a new Paris but or New France, but still, it's, it's important. You feel that there's kind of a change in our generation where now people are more open to the world and, you know, so we're going much quicker. So it's, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say it's the best comparison <laughs> because um, LA, being creative in LA, you're, you end up being, uh, it it's, depends what kind of creative field you're in, but uh, you end up kind of uh, being very closed onto yourself, you know, always creating in your, your, your own environment. And then you end up not really, you know, meeting one or two friends who you always see or like, you know, it's very kind of a closed environment, even though it's, it's LA, it's a huge town, uh, or at least I felt that was it. But, um, and Paris is kind of, you know, I, I would say it's more the society, which is difficult, you know, it's, but it, it's, um, it's opening up and, and uh, because, you know, of course, we're a new generation and we need to think, think outside the box. And also, you know, things are happening in New York and London and we just, you know, it's important. And yeah, it's important to, to be there. My dream job when I was a kid was to be an archaeologist. I think it's a mixture of, of uh, because I love history. Uh, I love the just the idea that people were able to do such great things and uh, um, and also you know try and understand the reasons how and why and and, uh, and the beautiful aspect of also working with the, the earth and I don't know it's I've, I've always found something very um, very very um, yeah amazing about it however it takes you know it's it's a feat you know the satisfactions I'm kind of a satisfaction, uh, I wouldn't say buff, but I, I kind of like, I wouldn't say satisfactions, but I like uh, reactions. I like to, to have a, you know. It's strange, but I, I kind of like the, the idea of being a conceptor, of uh, creating concepts and, and seeing them uh, flourish and, you know, really having them. But I, um, I mean, I would say for for my art, I would say, but but for my my art, <laughs> then again, is kind of a vast, uh, is kind of a vast uh, thing. But it's 